if you're being choked up against a wall. This happens in rape scenarios. This is one way to get out of a choke. Women will learn many ways to escape in this class. Most uh, attacks on women, assaults on women, uh, are happening in the home. Uh, the, the statistics vary from 70 to 80 percent. Press in like that. Okay. Teacher Steve McLaughlin is a judo and jujitsu black belt, but he says the moves he's teaching women are based on common sense. Extremely simple. McLaughlin keeps it so easy, even an 11 year old can use it. This mother and daughter team say they're glad they came. I'm doing it with my 11 year old, and she can just get out of my hold really fast. And here I think I'm really strong, you know, compared to her, yes. but I guess it's, it works easy. It's a confidence builder that Carly can throw off a grown man. It's teaching me that. I don't need to be afraid, and I can actually, um, if they attack me, I can actually prevent it. Class is really fun, and everything's really simple. So, yeah, I'd recommend it to anybody who actually wants safety. Most women want to fight back, according to statistics. They just didn't know how. The course covers a range of dangerous situations, including how to get out of a chokehold. He also teaches what to do if you're being stalked or if someone grabs your hair. Break the foot. Push her off. If you know what's going to happen, when it's going to happen, you got a pretty good chance of getting out of it. McLaughlin's tips on how to avoid trouble? Prevention. Contrary to popular belief, the best self-defense is done without fighting. Avoidance. Sounds simple, but many women walk into harm's way without looking twice. Escape. When in doubt, get out. Intuition. Follow your gut instincts. They're always right. And five, educate yourself in personal safety. Learn to protect yourself from yourself before you try to defend yourself from someone else. With the KHNL News 8 Safety Alert, Diana Coe, KHNL News 8.